Welcome back. OK, it's time for another chance to qualify to play our midday movie, midday money movie quiz. For uh, every question you get right, remember, you get £1,000. Yesterday, Heather from Middlesex got at one ten grand, and that could be even more today if you keep you cool and you're on form. We'll be calling the winner, selected at random, live on air at midday, so if you're not in, you can't win, and our computer will have to choose someone else. So just watch this clip, first of all, to qualify to play the competition, and tell us the name of the, uh, the star with the squiggles all over his or her face. It's holiday. It smells like burnt rubber. God, it's hot in here. <laughs> OK, tell us who it is on 0901 498 2000. 0901 498 2000. Leave your name and number, and the course costs 50 pence, and the lines will close at quarter to 12, and then stand by your phones. Now then, which one of these three did you fancy? <laughs> You fancied Gordon it. Jackson, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I very much liked Gordon Jackson. Yeah, I fancied great. Lewis Collins. Oh, Lewis Collins. Mm. They're great. They're, I mean, they've just got such charisma. Who? All of them. Yeah. Right. OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, it is goodbye to capris, perbs and uh, roll neck jumpers. The professionals have arrived in the 90s. <laughs> I want an excuse, Mr. Keel. I want a solution. <laughs> My God, it's coming straight at me! Okay, what about the Turk? I don't know what your game is, my love. Trying to catch terrorists, that's what my game is. Give me one clear shot, okay? Looks good. With us now, we've got the new Cowley, Edward Woodward, and Bodie and Doyle's replacements. We've got Cal Webber and Colin Wells. Congratulations, first of all, on landing the role. You, yeah. Particularly you two, because it's a big break for you, isn't it, this? Well, for Colin, you've been in loads of stuff. I know, though, but it's you? a great... To do the professionals, I mean, you know, however you mm. know, well-respected you are, that's the big one, isn't it? Isn't it, for an action TV series? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> and uh, you, you're taking over from Gordon Jackson, but they're completely different characters. Oh, yes, totally, no, there's no... totally. Although, yeah. you know, uh, and a new Gordon, God rest you so very yeah. well. Yeah. And Gordon sits on my shoulder all the time. I'm doing it. In fact, we, we introduced a, a little thing at the very beginning as a salute to Gordon at the very Did you? end of the first episode. What, yes. do, what, what do you do? I'm not going to tell us, are you? You have to watch it. No. Oh. But it is a salute to Gordon, really. And it's going out, it starts this Sunday, doesn't it? It premieres yes. on Sky. It's got Sky One. Um, right. yep. yes. 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 Great, great. Now, so, you, have you taken any kind of influences at all from Bodie and Doyle, or, or you, you, you deliberately tried to distance yourself from, from what they did? <laughs> well, no, personally, no, no. The, the, they're, they're just, you know, they're unique characters, Bodie and Doyle, and so, yeah. so are Curtis and Keel. Yeah. And it's a different era, and... Uh, it's bang up to the minute, is it? The, oh, for right us, now. it is very much yeah. so, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Bodie and Doyle, I mean, I grew up with Bodie and Doyle, yeah. and I watched it every single... Yeah. Was it Friday nights? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it was... Either, was it Sunday oh. nights, I think? Oh, yeah, I think Sunday. it was Sunday nights. But, uh, Cal, of course, he came from Canada, so he wouldn't have seen it in the first place. I'd never even you? heard of the show, so yeah. my yeah. drama school buddies were like, you know... Oh, it was <laughs> compulsive watching here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just had to watch it. It was yes. terribly popular. Um, so, t just, just to recap on the story again, it, it, CI5 is um, this terrorist... Counter-terrorism. Counter-terrorism squad. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's based on the premise that eventually, as we're discovering yeah. at the moment, um, that eventually the world's got to get together in terms of nations and decide what they're going to do about insurrection mm -hmm. and uh, the appalling amount of uh, mayhem there is throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And so this is the very first step, as it were, mm -hmm. for an organisation being a national, international organisation right. yeah. that goes in i.e. like a small SAS, shall we say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as the pinpoint in any part of the world where something 
uh, which is going to affect nations, sort of yeah. blows up. It sounds, very Freddy, for, it sounds very Freddy Forsyth to me. It's, yeah, yeah. It is Forsythian. Yeah. Do you, so it's do not you... all set in England then? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you go all over the place? We filmed oh. in Africa, we filmed in, in uh, the States, and several other different locations doubled yeah. for... See? Top job. <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> it's what it was it's a good well, series um, yeah. Yeah. It's, really, it's, the, it's the sort of job that... <laughs> The other uh, actors, you know, other actors got. Yeah. You know, you always. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. It's exactly it's right. Lovely, it's lovely filming. Uh, they're going to give it to Charlie. Lovely Sheen. filming in Teddington, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful underneath a bridge somewhere, you know, that's great. Yeah. But yeah. other actors go, but we went, we went to. Uh, well, let's the see Carolinas. Little, the Carolinas. Yeah. yeah. Right not, where, not, not right a good place to be right now. now. No. Yeah. Right in Wilmington, where the. Gosh. Really, where it's going to hit. Where it's going to hit. Well, we've got another little clip here. And sadly, this is, I think, shot in London. Um, but, <laughs> but, but we begin to see the relationship developing between you. You're almost a sort of a mother hen with these guys, aren't you? A father hen. Father. father. Yeah. A father. Yeah. <laughs> not right. a mother hen, darling. Mother goose? No, right. <laughs> we'll let that one go. Let's have a look at the clip. Keep your hands where I can see them, both of you. Out of the car, slow. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Out! Mr. Keel. We were this close. Then these two get in the way like they're running interference. Is that true, Superintendent Leonard? I don't know what your game is, my lord. Trying to catch terrorists, that's what my game is. And I thank you to keep your bloody nose out of my business. Good day. Oh, that's telling him. Who was? Yeah. <laughs> so who's, who was the beauty just behind your shoulder when you when you uh, intervened there? Richard, I don't know. She was just behind my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's this girl who follows you around, you know. <laughs> but is, oh, there's uh, a female agent, isn't there? That's Lexa, involved? yeah. She's... Oh, well, was that Lex? I didn't yes, say I didn't see I'm just yeah. watching myself, of course. <laughs> and is there a little love interest going on there, do you think? Uh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> not, not that time round, anyway, was there? No. no. So g give us what when it starts on Sunday. Can you give us a, a quick plot line for it? What happens on Sunday? Sunday's an episode is called Back to Business, <laughs> yeah. which sort of really says it really, just to say right. that the sh the show back. is back. We're back. Yeah. yeah. Um, somebody's trying to kill somebody. There's going to be an explosion, and right. we have to get there before it goes bang. Oh, could have been any of Any equaliser, you know. So it could it's be a rare it's premise, a, but uh, <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's, but it works somehow. It it's approached in a slightly different <laughs> way. Let's face it. Yes. All right. I've forgotten what you, you when you were in Canada. Yes. You were doing something unusual. What was it? I, well, I, I I actually lived in Paris for a couple of years as a photographer. Oh, that's that right. That's nice. very unusual. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I was doing. Before. But you really wanted to act. Uh, yeah, I did, and you I thought I does. just didn't. Yeah, I still do. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just, uh, I didn't think I kind of had the, uh, the, whatever it took to kind of be the leading man guy, you know, sort of you thing. And didn't so, have that enough confidence in yourself. Uh, yeah, possibly, yeah. 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 Just thinking, this is the closest we've been. I know. Ever. We, <laughs> should, we, so we should have jammed you after one was over. Really. <laughs> we can't afford anymore. Sorry. You do look very, a smug fit, though. I have to say. <laughs> 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 Dumb and Tweedledee yeah. and the other one. <laughs> yeah. But the, one more thing, it's the professionals, which you say you don't know of, but in the 70s, it was, it was a style programme as well. It was, yeah, all action and adventure, mm. but I mean, a lot of guys try to look a bit like them, you mm. know? And, and in those days, it was cool to drive the Ford Capri. Sure. You, have you heard Does of the you Ford Capri? Yeah, yeah. No, one. absolutely. Seven, you know the Ford Capri. I mean, since we, since we filmed, I've actually sat down and watched a few episodes. Yeah, right, and, fine. And yeah. I, fine. I, I, yeah. It's great. It's so a whole what, different time, though. Yeah, of yeah. course it was. Oh, yeah. I was wondering different. if there are similar parallels. I mean, is there a, what car do you guys drive? I mean, there was a Starsky and Hatch car. Cars. I mean, no, oh, different cars. Well, so mishmash. We like. All oh, right. I think right. CI5 have a have a pool of cars. So, right. uh, <laughs> whichever one we fancy at the time, do we need a two door Fantastic. or four door? But as long as they're quick. That yeah. so we <laughs> borrow locations. We borrowed a cars. Lotus to chase <laughs> yeah. some bad guys uh, yeah. in a plane. So yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, there's all kinds of cars and well, motorcycles. Ducati. Yeah. There's a Ducati motorcycle in it. Yeah. Fine. Well, speaking as a completely committed sort of heterosexual, I have to say, looking at you two guys, <laughs> that I mean, there is going to be no problem with the female following. I mean, you both look great. <laughs> so, look really good. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. What about <laughs> Come on, throughout the world, you know, there's a few pe few women over 65. <laughs> and my wife, who you You're know, who we know very well. Yes. Yes. Oh, that is a, that's the biggest insult. Well, no, I, mean, just, I just thought I just thought you spoke for yourself. You. Speaking no as, a, as, a, as a committed heterosexual, you, see, <laughs> you two look great. I'm already starting out. He's giving us a plug here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you wait till I do my show. <laughs> <laughs> Number one guest. All right, pal. I'll be there. <laughs> it's good to see you. And know we love and you. Look you look well, actually. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good luck with it. We'll look yeah, forward to seeing it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sunday, 8 o'clock, Sky, Sky One. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got to go to, over to John Road now because he's got a really good job talking about filming abroad. In the first of a new series, he's on the Orient Express.